Hey everybody, Van Vanderson here. Welcome to a Sony Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, how you can automatically track um, footage without having to go in and manually keyframe it. Uh, I'll put a clip up right now. Okay. Hey everybody, Van Vanderson here. Welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, it's pretty uh, pretty useful thing to have. A lot of a lot of people do it in editing, but they don't do it automatically. They go frame by frame. And I found a way to eliminate that uh, that need. So first, what you got to do is you got to go into the event pan and crop, uh, flip this video upside down and backwards, um, and then you go out of that, go into effects, add bezier masking, um, and then you probably want to turn this mask FX off in the general options tab, and then you go down to mask uh, tracking. And then you go to options, set it to high. Uh, and if you're going to do manual keyframing afterwards to make sure this is in the correct location at all times, I would recommend doing five or higher. But if you're not going to do it manually and you're going to do it all automatically because you, you ain't got time for that, um, you're going to set it to one and then you're going to press start and wait for that to do its stuff. And once it's finished, um, go out of here, copy this entire thing, paste it up here, delete the audio track that's created, um, go into this um, copy and go to the beginning of the thing and right click on the middle and press restore. So it flips it to the right side. Also you're going to want to go into here and remove the Bajir masking. Um, after that, you go here into the effects tab on the video, and you have to click picture in picture, add one of those. Um, I will show you why we have to do it in a 1.5 scale after I do it, uh, after I do the uh, tracking section really quick, um, which I'm going to get to right now. So you go to scripting, and then you go to copy motion track to pip which is um, picture in picture and that's why we have to put it in picture in picture. So after you do that, you can see that it tracks and uh, you can see that it tracks there but you want this to be the main focus of the screen. God, everything is going on. <laughs> you want this to be the main focus of this uh, screen. Uh, so you go into here uh, or no, you don't go into there, you go into here, and then you scale to one point. Oh no, I'll show you what happens when you scale it to one first. So if you s just scale it to one, okay. as you can see, these parts up here and over here, they like get cut to the other video track. That's the one that you don't want people to see. So what you have to do is go to 1.5 scale in the picture in picture, and then that won't happen anymore. And as you can see, that's probably the clip I showed at the beginning of the video. And now you can do this. So uh, if your playback is laggy, you'd probably want to delete this uh, video track, which you can do by going down there and then deleting this track with the video on it, dragging that back up and then dragging this one into the place of the other one. And as you can see, We just automatically motion tracked that clip. So, um, yeah, if this is the video you were looking for on uh, Sony Vegas 16 when you heard it had motion tracking in it and it wasn't quite the motion tracking you, uh, you were expecting, like me, uh, this, uh, this combination of three hours of trying to figure this stuff out might have helped you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's the whole tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, good. Bow.